everybody, it's Esther and Danielle and welcome to Craft Corner with Esther C. Today is day two of Christmas in July. Isn't that awesome? Yep. <laughs> we are getting a head start on everything. All right, today's project is going to be a card. A while back on the recommendation of Mamie from Mamie Made It, I bought this big book of holiday paper crafts and Danielle and I were flipping through it this morning and we saw a card that looked a little bit interesting. It's this one right here. Now, we're not going to do this the same way because I'm not good at tying bows <laughs> at all. And we don't have the same color paper, but we've got a pretty good idea of what we can do. Let's put this to the side. So we have cut down an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper which I am now gonna score. If I can get my phone folder off. Actually, we cut it, but kept one of the pages. Okay. This uh, mini Martha Stewart board is really a uh, genius because the markings, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go. Let me turn it around. The markings are right there on the board. So you always want to make sure you have a really good score line. That'll give you a nice crisp edge on your card. And you want to burnish that. All right, and the card had a matte piece and then a music piece. Now it went, the card flipped up and down like this. So it would have gone like this. But my music note paper faces this way. So we're gonna do a sideways card. So let me see. Where's my art glitter glue? There we go. Always with the art glitter glue, which can be found at several online retailers, including MamieMadeIt.com. I almost never use my ATG anymore. For one thing, it is a pain in the butt to load, and for two, it uh, constantly jams up and stuff. But honestly, it's super good. Thank you, Danielle. Danielle just got out my brayer. All right, so we have our gray layer. Now we're gonna put our music note paper on. Danielle, I was looking the other day around the house. Yeah. You know, kind of just thinking ahead of time of where we'll put the tree and stuff. Yeah, what is it gonna get? I don't know. But I discovered that there's a Christmas decoration I never put away. <laughs> what? The little Olaf with the Christmas oh. hat. <laughs> well then you buy it after Christmas. I bought it at the after Christmas sale, but I mean, it was like right, literally right after Christmas, so it was still, you know, good to put it out. Mm. All right, now I've put that on there. We're filming with my phone today because my camera died. The battery died right in the middle of us getting ready to start filming. So here's what we have so far. Now, on their picture, they had uh, lace. lace. And I have this from Daiso. Now there is no Daiso anywhere near me. I bought this in a D stash, but I thought this matched pretty good with what they had. And it has sticky on the back, although I'm not entirely trustful of that. You never are. I know, I know. I really like the look of that, don't you? Yeah, pretty. All right, I'm gonna cut that right there. All right, it has a backing. Let me measure, I want it to go all the way across. All 
I'm not a good uh, measurer. Measurer, <laughs> what is that? I'm more of a eyeball it and cut kind of girl. Now this is the first time I've actually used this. So being as I'm not sure about it and it's going to have to sit in a box for a couple months before I actually send it to anybody. <laughs> I'm going to put a little dab of glue, but I'm going to be careful of the placement of the glue so it doesn't show through the... The lace. The lace. Alright. We're going to put this right here. So here's where we are so far. Actually, I just did that upside down. <laughs> oh well, it still looks cute that way. We'll just put the sentiment more up. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know when you're working off of a card base or a sketch or a design, you still can change it to be anything you want. Now, in my scrap drawer, I keep some pre-cut scallops and circles. Just when I have time, I set the Cricut up to cut this kind of stuff out for me and just toss it in a box, use up some scraps. So we cut out of that same gray paper, I had the uh, gray circle. And this is not actually Christmas paper, but it is kind of cute and goes with it. So the first thing we're gonna do is stamp our sentiment. So on this I have, where is it? The word Noel. And this is a set from Party Paws. Oh, it's called Party Paws. It's from Crafter's Companion. And I got it on TupeloDesignsLLC.com. I'm not normally all that excited about the rubber stamps, but it was so cute I had to get it. Man, I've not used this one before, so we're going to do some test stamps. There we go, so not quite so hard. All right, you'll see the test stamps. That first one I went way too hard on it. <laughs> Okay, that looks cute. Here you go, Dino. I'll hand you a baby wipe. If you would wipe that off while I continue, please. All right, let's glue down our circle. I know this is a terrible angle. But getting my phone to film this was interesting. When I have my craft room, Matt said he's going to set me up some sort of uh, filming thing so I can uh, have a permanent filming station. And of course you know I'll take you guys along on the whole craft room. Uh, right from the start, I'm not going to get new furniture, but we are going to tear that carpet out. And right in the center that goes. Now, typically, I'd be a glitter girl, but... Yeah, that doesn't need any glitter, does it? No, it's pretty. I like it. Okay, so even with the goof of gluing this down at the bottom instead of the top, I like it. All right, everybody. Find some inspiration. Look in a book, a magazine, anywhere. Look online. Card sketches are online. Tons and tons of them. Uh, start your Christmas cards. All right, as usual, address, ways to contact me in the description box below. And, uh... Yeah, this is fun. We got a lot of nice comments about yesterday's video.
Yeah. And there goes the air conditioner. It is hot today, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. It's raining though, so. Ooh, it will cool down. Yeah. And where I'm sitting, I can see outside and I can see that I have some cherry tomatoes that are ripe. <gasps> That's exciting. <laughs> All right, everybody, join us tomorrow for another fun video. And hey, you guys are just awesome. Merry Christmas in July. Bye. Bye. Ho, ho, ho.